Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Stellar Full Race Gauntlet, available at Revzilla.com. So out of the box, the Stellar is actually a replacement for the Tarmac. It's going to be the second in command in Revit's lineup of race gauntlets. You have to really think about it, that if the Jerez, which is their top level race gauntlet, if that's super bike, this is gonna be super sport. So what you're allowing yourself to do here is save about 100 bucks over the Jerez here in the Stellar. You're getting a lot of the race level protection, but you're not over investing if you're a weekend warrior or the occasional track day enthusiast, or if you're just on a budget. So you're looking at a sub $200 price point for a rock solid glove using a lot of the DNA that's been developed with Randy DePunier for MotoGP here in the Stellar. So I'm in the black, white, red version. There's also a blacked out version. And fit-wise, I'm wearing a large. Remember, a leather glove's always going to break in. So in my opinion, this is definitely an American cut here in the race gauntlet from Revit in the Stellar. I typically wear a large in Dainese. I wear a large in First Gear. I wear a large in Icon. I'm about an extra large in Alpine Stars. So for me, I consider this an American cut, also knowing that it's going to slightly break in for me. Remember, you can subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. Stay up to date with all the latest gear reviews we're constantly rolling out. And don't be afraid about the sizing. We ship for free, exchange for free, no restock fee over 39 bucks. Now getting into the nuance, really in the food chain, we talked about the big brother, which is going to be that Jerez. But if you're not looking to make that around $200 investment or under $200 investment, you could always take a ratchet it back one more step and go to something like the SLR, which is a slightly more distilled version of this glove, which does not have some of the upgraded protection. And one of the big features you're losing is this big prominent piece on the back of the hand, this dual compound hard knuckle protector. So you have an, a coated aluminum hard knuckle protector, and you should see what these look like when they save your hands in a crash. We have a pair of crashed out Nate Kern gloves on the, the Jerez using the same knuckle. He went down to 120. These things hold up really well. But the beauty of it is what you can't see because it's painted. The dual compound comes from this TPU honeycomb material that this sits in. So it's not only sh abrasion resistant across the top, it's also shock absorbing. And that's actually one of the pieces you're going to get if you step up the, from the Jerez is you actually get a very similar piece that wraps around the outside of the wrist laterally here on the ulna protection. But one of the big changes they've made moving into 2013 here on the Stellar over the Tarmac, which was its predecessor, is they've completely changed the way the cuff works, the way it's styled, and the way it protects. You now have a lot of EVA or temper foam, which is a very dense foam, has a memory quality, absorbs shock well, that's not only styled, but incorporated really well almost all the way around the double, double cuff here. And if I rotate this way, you're going to see that temper foam on this side. And if I come down towards the middle, you're going to see first cuff, second cuff, plenty big enough, also allows for a lot of adjustability. Now on the main construction side, you're looking at cowhide everywhere they can. That's going to be in a key abrasion resistant area. But then as I move over to the palm, for better feel, you're getting goat skin. Goat skin allows for great tactile feedback. It's lightweight. It's abrasion resistance. It holds up really well under sweat and harsh environments with, with continued use. But again, giving you better feedback in your bike. And notice the external stitching and pre-curved seams here. Getting back to the fingers on the top, you'll notice double stitching that sits around this dual honeycomb that also sits on a layer of light foam padding underneath it. Moving into the fingers, we have double reinforcement mid-digitally, more stretch panels going into the tips of the fingers, which offer now a TPU slider. And if we look at the outside of the hand, notice the amount of lateral protection going all the way up the outside of the finger. Great low side protection as well as adjustability, or not adjustability, but flex here built into the wrist. As they come down this way, you're going to get a good gauge for that TPU honeycomb, that dual comp slider. We have it on the lateral side of the palm as well. And you can begin to see, if you come in really tightly, that honeycomb construction because this one's not painted. Same material that we have on the back of the hand, again, abrasion resistant, shock absorption. I've crashed on this slider before at high speed in multiple scenarios holds up well and it's also seated in an area of foam for for some additional impact support. You also have a restyling, a recutting of this leather panel that comes all the way across. You have a flap covering your micro adjustment at the wrist, but then now you have additional dual layer of protection that comes over almost into the ball of the thumb as well. It's a welcomed addition and notice there's a pinky point here that creates another raised area that's going to be some more sliding laterally on the side of the hand. And as we see in a lot of race gloves from Revit, as you start to get up the food chain, you're going to have a dual leather layer of leather here that's going to go across your control area, high use area, give you some better longevity here out of the Stellar glove. Areas of reinforcement and flex in the thumb, some light reinforcement. Again, a rock solid glove that honestly I don't have a lot of nitpicks in. I think it's a ton of bang for the buck under that $200 price point and should fare really, really well. I think my biggest, my, the thing that I'm most excited about is the restyling of the cuff 
the upgrade in protection, and again, the fit. We're going with that more American cut. It's going to fit more riders more, more comfortably. It's going to be less surprises because, again, Revit's become more in tune with the U.S. market and the needs from a fit standpoint. If you want to talk gloves, shoot us a line. Shoot our Gear Geeks a line. There's so many guys, including myself, under this roof that do a lot of track days, and we can speak to the nuances of this glove compared to, like, the SLR or the Jerez, which sits higher up in the food chain from Revit, help you find the right glove for the right application for your riding style without over investing depending on the type of riding that you do. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. I mentioned that we ship for free and exchange for free. No restock fees if you need to send it back to us. You're going to need Team Zilla, Zilla Cash on any order over 100 bucks, and you will with the Stellar Glove here from Revit. You can find the Stellar Glove at RevZilla.com slash Revit. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new 2013 Revit Stellar Glove available at RevZilla.com slash Revit. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.